Okay, uh, we have a lot of re results to, uh, to discuss as well. We will be expecting the Bank of Baroda numbers anytime now. Let's get a, uh, an expert in. Uh, Mayuresh Joshi of Angel Broking has just joined us. Uh, well, Mayuresh, uh, we had a bunch of numbers. Uh, anything that stood out? We thought Punj Lloyd looked like it's a little better. But you tell us your pick. Morning, Lata. I think, uh, yes, I think a few companies uh, did report uh, good operational numbers. Uh, but largely, again, I think it's uh, going to be how the execution issues happen for a lot of these infrastructure stroke construction companies, stroke EPC companies. And again, I think I was just hearing the ITD cementation management as well. What really is uh, yet to be understood is how the execution probably pans out and the kind of lumpiness that the projects have. Uh, uh, it becomes very, very difficult in terms to get a consistent kind of a cash flow scenario for companies companies like this. Uh, so again, I think largely from this space, I think uh, though the order books uh, uh, might be quite large uh, to a certain extent, I think the execution thereof is going to be a key challenge. Uh, and again, I think unless you see sustained improvement happening on that front, I think the earnings are not going to show significant improvement. So one really needs for consistency in earnings to come through for all these companies. Okay, we have Manoj Murli Dharan of Relicate Securities who also uh, joins in. Well, uh, we're just awaiting, okay, the Bank of Baroda results are on the exchanges, so we're expecting them in moments from now. And the important figure to watch, uh, like we were telling you earlier, is what the slippages number is. That will only come from the management, but on the gross NPA front as well, we are hoping that there could be some amount of recovery this time around. Um, in terms of the uh, figures, okay, just waiting for the numbers to hit the exchanges. Okay, 423.6 is uh, the profit number, which is uh, almost in line with what uh, Ekta's yeah. poll threw up or uh, Abhishek's poll threw up. We were expecting 460 crore, it's 423, but these are typically not the numbers that will be market moving. We have to wait for what the gross NPA aggregate number is. Okay, uh, the gross NPA has come in at 11.15% versus 9.99% last quarter. So, it is a worsening of gross NPAs. Net NPAs have come in at 57 3% versus 5.06%. So, quarter on quarter, the actual, gross number. the actual gross number has also gone up, Lata. It's almost 43,000 crores versus 40,521 crores last quarter. And the actual net NPAs have also gone up to 20,783 crores versus 19,406. So, significantly worsening in gross NPA percentage and actual numbers also yeah. gone up. Only if you have to go by this PNL numbers, then it's not looking like a good set of numbers yes. because uh, the GNPA has risen. But let's hold out uh, we still have to wait for what the uh, uh, you know slippages number looks like it's not good that what we consider a well-run bank is now reporting 11 percent of its book as having gone bad the provisions have also gone up both quarter on quarter and year on year quarter on quarter more no the provisions have gone down i beg your pardon on a quarter on quarter basis to 2004 crores versus 6857 crores so there is a no, you know there are two figures provisions. that could be very good it could be that the slippages is not as bad the recoveries could be excellent yeah. which is why they may not have had to provide because some of the npas which they provided for probably they recovered or probably they did not have to provide for the fresh npas because they recovered uh, in either ways uh, let's hold out uh, restructured uh, standard assets uh, at 14164 crore uh, Lata, that's 14.83% uh, uh, okay. of uh, overall uh, gross advances. Uh, that's the number that they have given us. A little us. difficult to react to because much will depend on how much has been taken out and uh, admitted as slippages. But uh, that's 14,000. Net interest margin has gone up from 2.7% to 2.8% quarter on quarter. That was expected because yeah. last two quarters they have been reporting that they are winding down their bulk deposits. Yes, and the CASA has also improved. Yeah. Uh, so when you do that, naturally your uh, cheaper uh, yeah. source of finance yeah. goes up. But uh, Really, it will be asset quality that will be important. <clears throat> Himindra Hazari has joined us to just react to these initial numbers, though again, I must uh, repeat that we don't yet have slippages and recoveries. Himindra, the uh, NPA figure has gone up to 11.15 from 10%. Uh, so, it's a whole 110 basis points higher. Uh, but uh, uh, as well, you also have a minor improvement in margins, which was expected because of uh, high cost deposits going down. Your first thoughts? See, the main issue, as you very rightly pointed out, is the margin, I'm sorry, is the asset quality. And that, what it appears from the numbers that have been have come out, is that the NPAs are higher than what the market has been expecting. So, and this, it appears that, you know, the asset cleanup is still going to take some time. And this is what, uh, you know, has to be seen in Bank of Baroda's case, because, you know, in the earlier years, it has had a very huge credit growth. 
and even on the international books, which was my area of concern. So we have to see where these additional slippages are coming from. Mm. And as we also, where you rightly pointed out, we have to see the slippage numbers. It's going to be higher than what the market was expecting. Mm. Mm. Yeah, actually, it is 2,400 crores more uh, of gross NPAs, but uh, that in percentage terms would work out to a, a fairly nominal number, maybe 5% or even less. Mm. So, it, uh, that way, quarter on quarter, the in, in percentage increase is uh, just about 5%. Maybe we'll take some solace from that. Good, as NI, of now. good NI growth mm -hmm. as well. Uh, Higher it's, than it's, expectation. Beaten the, it's, yeah. it's beaten the estimate, Lata. The NI number is good, almost 200 crores higher than what we were estimating. So that's uh, that's a good number. Okay. Well, growth can solve a few problems. Uh, but uh, yeah, Himendra, we have those numbers as well. NII uh, number has come in at about uh, 3,400 3, crores, which is a little better than what we expected. So it's a flat NII performance uh, compared to last year, whereas uh, the poll was expecting a fall of 10%. And uh, the uh, aggregate rise in GNPA, which is all we have in the absence of slippages, it's gone up from 40,500 to 42,000 crores uh, or 43,000 crores. So it's a 2,400 crore or a 5% increase in uh, gross NPAs. Uh, any further comments? See, if the net interest income growth, which is better, as you say, has come really from core operation, then that will show that there has been an improvement overall. Mm. But if there's any one-off item like some kind of income tax refund, then one really has to adjust for that. Mm. So that is what we have to see greater clarity on. Mm. But again, you know, on the NPA front, though, it, you know, earlier we had indicated as though the asset quality issue was over for Bob, but it is still persisting. Yeah. So I just hope we get some management clarity on this mm. because this will be a best case because for the, you know, for the first time you've had a private sector and a foreign banker in. So we have to wait and see what the strategy is for Bob and, you know, how it will unfold. No, I take your point completely. Uh, you know, now it is the third quarter that mm. uh, Jay Kumar is presenting numbers. So yeah. now if it continues to show pain, then one should genuinely worry that things have gotten bad. That's uh, the provision uh, coverage at 60%. <coughs> That's not bad uh, uh, as a coverage figure, though I'm not able to immediately tell you what the comparable number was quarter ago. Actually, <coughs> Mayuresh is also with us. Uh, and he looks at the stock uh, closely. Mayuresh, uh, you have all the numbers in front of you that we have from the PNL. Oh yes, Lata. So I think uh, if you look at uh, in absolute terms, I think the GNPs have gone up and more than what we had estimated at our end. The NI growth uh, probably in line with our estimates. Uh, so I think the key figures now to watch out would be what kind of slippages that the bank uh, reports, uh, what actually comes in terms of fresh slippages and what actually comes out of the restructured book. The restructured book has probably gone up a tad bit <coughs> from the last quarter. And again, I think uh, the numbers in terms of upgrades and recoveries, uh, because I think the expectation again was there would be strong upgrades and recoveries in this quarter. But I totally concur with him that I think if the asset quality probably even on an absolute basis is worsening that little bit, I think that intends uh, uh, the management to probably come out and clarify on what aspects uh, have actually gone wrong and whether they are actually looking at some kind of a watch list going ahead as well or whether the pain in the balance sheet probably in terms of their stressed out sectors uh, lending has probably started dwindling or coming down. So what about the stock? I mean, you know, in any case, the stock has underperformed. It's up what, just about 2 odd percent for the year as a whole, Mayuresh. Now, given that it seems like the stress loan formation has gone up, asset quality has worsened, do you reckon that the stock could be under quite a bit of pressure? Again, Sony, I think it will largely depend on uh, the management commentary there of whether they were too aggressive uh, this quarter as well in recognizing a few assets that they probably perceive uh, can actually go uh, uh, under the cloud. Uh, so in that respect itself, I think uh, if the management intent in the commentary is that the asset quality pressures would start coming down over the next few quarters, I think that will be one positive sign for the stock. Going by the core numbers, I think it's a little bit uh, 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 disappointing in terms of the absolute numbers because I think the street was expecting a lower number of uh, gross NPAs in absolute terms to probably come through. You're also expected to see some amount of respite going ahead in terms of the granularity of the loan book and the kind of mix that the bank probably will lend with that retail, agri, SME. But again, I think what happens with the credit cost because the management had guided for an annualized credit cost of 130 to 150 odd bips, whether they maintain that and whether the strong commentary on upgrades recovery still holds. So again, I think going by these numbers probably a soft opening can 
expected. But if the management commentary probably hints uh, uh, to a stronger quarter or stronger quarters ahead, I think there will be some respect in the stock ahead. Yeah, okay, pre open is down uh, almost 9%, but that will settle. But the operating profit has gone up actually, and that's one parameter which has stood out for you know stocks like Indian Bank, for example. Of course, that's a much smaller stock. We're talking about the second largest PSU bank here, but uh, that would also be. Which is what gives number. me the feeling that probably recoveries were good, and mm. that's why they had to provide less or some provisions got written yes. back. There could be all these things that therefore had a positive impact on the profit. They've definitely done very well in running down their uh, uh, more expensive uh, uh, deposits. Uh, mm. Even their liability franchise internationally, they've taken off some of their non-performing uh, or uh, not very high interest bearing uh, li uh, uh, assets. All these are definitely going to uh, you know, contribute to the improvement in margins and therefore to the yes. improvement in profit. But uh, at the moment, the stock is showing a 10% downtick. That's definitely an exaggeration. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, the uh, increase in uh, GNPAs need not be reacted to immediately. Yes, the market's now coming down to uh, a slightly uh, saner level. Uh, it is still in red, but not so, uh, not so hugely. As well, the overall markets are still trying to settle down. We are not getting any very clear idea of uh, uh, whether it's going to be red or green as well, because it's a little all over the place at this point in time. Rupee is on practically uh, flat at uh, 66.81. Not much of a change there. So I guess we have to bide our time and. Uh, Okay, well, Udyan also joins in uh, into our conversation. Uh, for now, let's take a look at what the pre-opening rates are suggesting. Uh, it's flat with a bit of a negative bias, so perhaps that could continue in trade, the caution that we saw yesterday. Uh, Udyan, hi, good morning. Uh, we're reacting, uh, you know, on the ball to the Bank of Baroda numbers and the asset quality has weakened quite a bit. I mean, 11% gross NPA level now. Uh, do you think that this sector, the PSU banks, it did see some amount of recovery, a trading pop, you know, for a few months, but do you think now it, it